What purpose does the gentlewoman from Nevada seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I rise to offer an amendment. It's at the desk. <coughs> the clerk will report the amendment. Amendment offered by Ms. Titus of Nevada, page 30, line 15, after the first dollar amount, insert reduced by $500,000, increased by $500,000. Pursuant to House Resolution 223, the gentlewoman from Nevada and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Nevada. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield myself as much time as I might consume. Gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you. I rise today in support of my amendment, which is designed to focus the VA's attention on a critical issue, the treatment of our female veterans. The population of women veterans is rapidly growing. Today, women constitute approximately 20% of new recruits, 14.5% of the active duty component, and 18% of the reserve component. Almost 280,000 women have served post 9-11 in Afghanistan and Iraq. While the number of male veterans is expected to decline by 2020, the number of women veterans is expected to grow dramatically to 11% of the veteran population. From health care to child care, the needs of women veterans are different from those of their male counterparts. Unfortunately, the VA has faced challenges in meeting these needs. There are far too few OBGYNs and a dearth of women's health care clinics. Where clinics do exist, many lack sufficient privacy protections for the patients. The VA has also struggled to address shortages in mental health, child care, and housing services for female veterans. Too many women who served either do not identify themselves as veterans or they lack sufficient information about the benefits and services that the VA provides. Fortunately, the VA has started to put an increased focus on this population. The VA Center for Women's Veterans is charged with monitoring and coordinating VA's administration of health care benefit services and programs for women veterans, as well as with raising awareness within the department for their special needs. In 2012, the Women's Ta Veterans Task Force published a report outlining strategies to meet the needs of our female veterans. The report highlighted barriers to providing services to women veterans, including a lack of data collection and analysis. Without knowing how to best serve and meet expectations of female veterans, the VA will never be able to give these heroes the care and support that they earned and deserved. My amendment is designed simply to encourage the VA to fill the two unfunded data collection and analysis positions in the Center for Women Veterans to ensure that the VA is able to identify and fulfill the needs of our nation's female heroes. I thank the chairman and the ranking member for working with me on this amendment, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman uh, from Georgia is recognized for five minutes. I thank, the, I thank you for allowing me to uh, respond. I support the gentlewoman's efforts to highlight the importance of women's health. Uh, the VA Women's Center has been underfunded for the last few years. Uh, as the gentlewoman correctly pointed out, their most recent working group recommends that they fill uh, two statistician positions that have not yet been filled due to lack of budget. Without these positions, it's challenging for the VA to get good data about female veterans. So many programs are shaped using faulty assumptions. I believe that these positions are very important for the VA when it comes to providing care for our female veterans. I support these efforts, and I urge all members uh, to support it, and I yield back. The gentleman from Georgia yields back. What purpose does the gentleman from Pennsylvania seek recognition? I'd just like to claim unanimous consent to speak in opposition to the amendment, but I'm not, in the, I'm not opposed to the amendment. The gentleman uh, from Pennsylvania is recognized for five minutes. Yeah, I, I commend the gentlelady for her work uh, to improve the, the services VA provides to our women veterans. You, you really are to be commended. I know you work on the authorizing committee. It's very important to you. Uh, and since uh, women uh, comprise nearly 15 percent of the active duty military forces, uh, VA must improve its services and infrastructure to accommodate gender-specific needs. And so I, I certainly strongly support the gentlelady's amendment. Yield back. Pennsylvania yields back the balance of his time. The gentlewoman from Nevada is recognized. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to close by asking my other colleagues to support this amendment so we can send a strong message to our female veterans that the U.S. Congress is committed to ensuring that the VA is meeting their unique needs. It's critical that the VA is able to accurately look forward to the future and shape their programs so it is welcoming and supporting of all our veterans. I thank you for your support, and I yield back. The gentlewoman from Nevada yields back the balance of her time. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Nevada. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it.